Sheriff Patrick Withrow says that they had a contingency plan in place in case of violence. Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix spoke with members of the infamous biker group who said they were not there to cause problems. As thousands of bikers descended into San Joaquin County to attend the funeral services for the founder of the Hells Angels Oakland chapter, Sonny Barger, law enforcement says they're ready. I hope uh, that it, it comes off peacefully and uh, we have absolutely no use for everything that we prepared for. That would be our best scenario. Um, but uh, we are prepared if it is, it is not. Law enforcement officers from San Joaquin County met this morning in preparation for the many motorcycle clubs coming into town, including those considered rivals of the Hells Angels. We're just hoping that everything goes off the way that they hope it goes off, like they were saying, and uh, uh, that they would keep control of this. And, and uh, uh, but we're just ready for any contingency. Sheriff Patrick Winthrow says he would not put any of his deputies inside the 99 Speedway where the service took place. I am not going to uh, put, as I said, any of our guys in harm's way. Uh, we did make contingency plans that if, if there was a medical emergency or something like that, um, where they could bring somebody out and uh, we could respond safely and, and uh, retrieve that person and, and get them whatever help they need. I spoke with a member of the Monterey chapter of the HAs. They said they're not here to cause any problems within the community. They're simply here to pay the respect to Sonny Barger. The sheriff says part of the safety concern is any of the bikers lingering in the area at any businesses and causing problems. We want what's best for our, our businesses here. Um, several of them have voiced concerns to us stating that they might close before the, the end of this uh, just to be safe. He says safety measures have cost San Joaquin County alone $400,000, but says when all is said and done, including the cost to other allied agencies like CHP and Caltrans, the cost will be into the millions. Well worth it if it means everyone stays safe. We're going to be um, in high readiness until we're sure that our community is totally safe and, and things are back to normal. In San Joaquin County, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News. And a short time ago, the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office saying only a few minor incidents occurred in and around that area of that service. It ended at 8 o'clock tonight.